when we are faced, when we are confronted with a threat, how do we respond? Perhaps it's a physical threat. Maybe it's a threat to our identity, our sense of self. Maybe it's just someone who disagrees with us. Maybe it's a phone call that gets us a little defensive. How do we respond to a perceived attack? And how do we respond to our body's reaction to that? This is one of the great questions in this week's Torah portion by Yeshev. Vayira Yaakov me'od vayitzar lo. Jacob feared greatly and was distressed in his anxiety. Such are the words of our Torah after Yaakov, Jacob, finds out that his brother Esau, the one who he had stolen the birthright and the blessing from many years back, Jacob finds out that there he is, very close by in his own camp, with 400 men with him. There Jacob is with his family, his children, all of his possessions. And he is told that his powerful hunter brother was just around the corner. It says in three different ways, in five short words, how scared he was. Now, while I am moved by <laughs> Rashi and Chizkuni's interpretations, I find them very compelling. I am perhaps more moved by another great sage, the Japanese-American karate teacher from The Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. That's right, folks, Mr. Miyagi. Here's what Mr. Miyagi uh, says. Fighting not good. Somebody always get hurt. Miyagi always look for way not to fight. Miyagi hate fighting, most unfortunate. But there's something else that Mr. Miyagi also demonstrates, which is he, when he experiences fear, he is able to calm his mind, calm his heart, connect to himself and his breath. He seeks a way to be non-reactionary. Now, perhaps Jacob reaches this level. We don't know. We should wait for the, for the Hollywood version and find out. But uh, what we do learn is that Jacob himself bows down to the ground seven times in prayer until he is near to his brother. He makes himself entirely vulnerable in this moment. He is bowed down before a brother that wants to kill him, perhaps. Jacob finds the courage in his own way to confront his brother, humbly and without a fight. And in this case, I'm not recommending always bowing down before an enemy, a potential enemy, but in this case, he is rewarded. Asav ran to greet him. He embraces Jacob and falling on Jacob's neck, Esau kisses him and they weep. They weep together, finding the reconciliation beyond the fight that they had for so many years. So in those moments where we are faced with great distress, May we find our breath. May we find our way through it and respond, not react, from the deep point of connection that is within us. Amen.